Good day, everyone. Kamusta po kayo? How are you doing? Mabuti. Thank you for tuning in. And yes. here we are again, uh, bringing you the Word of God. And so, let us come to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day, another day that you have given to us, Lord God. We ask that you will continue to speak to us, Lord God, as we listen to your Word. And show us how we can apply this sa aming pong buhay, Panginoon. Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our uh, title of our devotion today is Off the Wall. So, yung ito yung mga favorite brands ko. Yung bands and then yung nakaraan eh. Off the Wall. Eh, yung Chuck, Chuck Taylor <laughs> naman. Mm-hmm. So, today we'll talk about Off the Wall. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of Him who hath called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. The word peculiar has several synonyms, such as strange, unusual, odd, weird, abnormal, freak, <laughs> crazy, and finally, off the wall. Yan ang title natin. 2 Corinthians 5.13 says, If it seems we are crazy, it is to bring glory to God. Okay. The Apostle Paul said that our actions will come across as being crazy to the unbelieving people around us. Often Christians are called crazy by people who just don't understand the process of salvation and the ways of God. There was a time when I was able to meet up and have a good chat with one of my high school batchmates. One thing he told me that seemed quite funny and interesting as well was the, that many of my batchmates said that I must be crazy to serve God and not follow after the dreams we had when we were in our teens. Back then, this was uh, the 80s, early 80s, back then the common goal of, for many Filipinos my age was to find a way to go to the United States and chase after the elusive American dream. The reason why they said that I must be crazy was the fact that I had w- what it takes to fulfill their goals and dreams. Being an American citizen and the son of a retired U.S. Navy personnel made me an automatic candidate to what was, to them, only a dream. I chose to stay here in the Philippines in the city where I spent most of my growing years in and to serve God as a pastor, which to most people, they would think that the benefits and salary are not worth the time and effort. Mark Twain said that no amount of evidence will ever persuade an idiot. Being an idiot or crazy person Uh, or an off-the-wall person for Christ is something every believer should be proud of. As Mark Twain said, no amount of evidence will persuade. As people uh, who have surrendered their lives to Christ, we are fully convinced that there is no other life worth living than this life we live and in, in le- life we live and for Christ. And if ever there is evidence presented to us that would say otherwise, as an idiot for Christ, we will never be persuaded. As we keep the faith, uh, as we keep the faith, let us also keep our commitment to Christ, even if it seems it means being off the wall mm-hmm. for Him. Remember this: God is and will always be good. Amen. Mm-hmm. So the the title is off the wall, or big sabihin eh, medyo may may katok, may katok tayo. As Christians, you know, it's often that the things we do are quite uh, crazy, odd. odd. Talagang compared to what people of this world, uh, yung mga goals ng mga tao yung, that, that live in this world, ibang-iba sa mm-hmm. mga paraan natin as Christians. Eh. So, mm-hmm. i-consider talaga nilang crazy yung style natin, yung commitment natin sa Panginoon. Pero mm-hmm. tayo, we know that uh, what we see in life now, hindi ito yung final destination. Eh. Mm-hmm. Mas pinahalaga natin yung eternity kaya kahit na parang dihado ka na o kaya parang baga yung dreams mo hindi mo na tinu- tinuloy dahil para sa Panginoon mm-hmm. uh, don't worry kasi hindi naman tayo dito titiray this is mm-hmm. not our final mm-hmm. uh, destination let's gonna concentrate more on on the life beyond so kahit yeah. sa mga believers no God's ways even don't make sense diba kahit sa mga fellow Christians Uh, if we try to use our uh, finite mind, God's ways don't even make sense to the Christian. Mm. And uh, when Moses, uh, when Noah built the ark, diba, 
Uh, I'm sure that didn't make sense to him. He didn't understand what rain was. He didn't understand the flood, but yet he built an ark because God told him. And the same thing with Abraham. When God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, that's, you know, that's... Uh, off the wall, di ba? You, you're off the wall, God. Parang ganun. Hindi, kahit nga nung sinabi lang ni Lord kay Abraham na magkakaroon siya ng anak. Oo, oh, eh. off the wall. Mas lalong ganun. <laughs> parang, parang, what you talking about, di ba? <laughs> Pero, uh, it didn't make sense to them at that time. And uh, if you run it through our finite minds, even though we know it was God, we still, it still doesn't make sense. Eh. Um, so, what we need to do is just, you know, trust God. I know we talked about hearing, listening to His voice. We need to listen to His voice, follow His voice, and trust that He's leading us somewhere better than what we know ourselves, diba? And so, katulad ni sinar ni Pastor Jimmy, um, he didn't follow his dreams. Yung pala, God had a better plan. And uh, what, we're, what He's doing now, what we're doing now is much, much better far more rewarding, maybe not in terms of finances, mm-hmm. but far more rewarding than what, uh, what he planned for his own life. So God's plan was much better. It didn't make sense then. It may not make sense to people even now, but yet we know that it is God's will. And so that's, that's the best thing. It is God's will. Mm-hmm. It has uh, eternal value. It has eternal effects on people's lives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, going back to the word, Peculiar. Alam nyo, sa Tagalog ng peculiar is kakaiba, natatangi, pambihira. So imagine that, sabi ng Panginoong Diyos na tayo ay kakaiba, pambihira. And we are a peculiar people that we should show for the praises of Him. So sa ating pagkakaiba, sa ating natatangi, pambihira, ay meron tayong i- may bibigay, may ilalabas, natanging tayo lamang. Sabi doon, He has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. So, merong binigay sa atin ng Panginoong Diyos. And don't try to be someone na hindi ikaw yun. Mm-hmm. So, be who you are na create ng Panginoong Diyos. You are a peculiar people, a person na merong binigay sa yung gift, talent ng Panginoong Diyos, na kakaiba ka. Mm-hmm. Hindi ka dapat gumaya o tumulad sa anumang bagay. But a chosen Pinili, Pilipino. I remember uh-huh. yung t-shirt ni Jimmy. Pili, Pino, wow. Uh-huh. So, that's who we are. Uh-huh. Uh, so, don't forget yung identity natin in Christ na tinawag tayo ng Panginoong Diyos. So, be encouraged today sa, sa word na peculiar na maring iba, ay, tinutukso ka dahil kakaiba ka. But, take the positive na ano, na meaning ng peculiar. Meaning, God has given you something na ikaw lamang meron yan at yan ay binigay para ibahagi mo Amen. sa lahat. Okay? Amen. So, yan. Ano so, any <coughs> takeaways? Well, if, the, if there's anything that we could leave with you today is the fact na God's ways are crazy. Mm-hmm. Quite yeah. often. Mm-hmm. If, if not always, uh, quite often. Mm-hmm. Parang crazy idea talaga mm-hmm. madalas ang Panginoon eh. you know like feeding 5,000 with two fish and five loaves, five loaves mm-hmm. eh, pero yun nga yung, yung that's what's so good about it kasi walang ibang pwedeng gumawa niyan eh <laughs> kundi si Lord mm-hmm. lang eh. yung crazy idea nga is God sent His Son to save the world mm-hmm. diba? mm-hmm. parang crazy you're gonna send one Son to save the whole world mm-hmm. that's gonna last uh, after generation to generation to generations mm-hmm. Tala, crazy yun eh but you know, it was God's plan. It mm-hmm. is God's will. And mm-hmm. it does work, diba? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, crazy off-the-wall plans of God, they work even as crazy as it may seem, as crazy as it may sound. Mm-hmm. If it's God, it will work. Amen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amen. So, yeah, but, uh, don't forget, uh, no matter how crazy God is, <laughs> <laughs> actually, tayo lang yung, yung mga hindi crazy, sila oh. yung crazy. Oh. <laughs> Balik tadi. Eh. Balik si, uh, Antingin lang natin crazy yes. yung mga idea ni Lord, oh. pero talaga yun ang tama. So. Everybody else is wrong. Mm-hmm. So, ganyan lang po talaga. Amen. So, hope you learned something for today. This uh-huh. is uh, the end of the week. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, God is good and uh, salamat po sa inyong pagdating. Yes, so be crazy for the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this afternoon once again. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord God, that we can um, we can be led by you. The 
things that may seem crazy, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that you assure us, Lord God, that this is your will. And we just pray, Lord God, that we'll be able to follow your perfect will, Lord God, as you lead us and guide us every single day of our lives, Lord God, in every area of our lives, Lord God, family, business, work, relationships, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that you will show us what seemingly seems crazy, Lord God, but we know, Lord God, it's your perfect will. Thank you, Father, so much for everything, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God, God bless, bless CRC. CRC. God, God bless, bless the Philippines. Philippines. And God, God bless, bless Alonga. Alonga.